I'm betting some people have said some really scary words recently and it freaked you out. And those words would be UCAS, personal statements, university application. Um, because the summer holiday is a really, really good time for you to think about it. But I have worked in schools for a long, long time. I have seen your reaction when you walk out of that assembly or when you walk out of that form time or they're doing PSHE lessons. Um, everybody freaks out when we start to mention UCAS and university. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling scared by all of this, if you are freaking out, whether that's internally or externally, do not worry. The majority of year 12 is freaking out at the moment. Um, the reasons you are freaking out could be wide and varied because you have to make a really, really big decision over the next six months really. Um, you have to decide the next step for the rest of your life and this potentially could be the first big, big life decision that you've had complete control over. Um, you know, your people at home decided where you were going to go to school, you picked your A-levels but there's actually not a massive amount of subjects or places you can do your A-levels. You know, you're quite limited by um, where you live, what subjects are offered locally. You now have the whole world at your feet. You can go anywhere and you can do anything, which is awesome and it's fantastic, but it's also really, really scary and really, really intimidating because I'm betting you have absolutely no idea where to start and the school has started talking to you about sorting out your personal statement over some holidays, which is what you should be doing and that's a great, great thing. Um, so because I know that you're freaking out, because I know um, how you are feeling, I have done, I've been working really, really hard over the past few months, I haven't said too much about it, um, to help you sort this out. And I've done a load and load of videos and I've written you a book. I have written you this book. Look, it is a massive book. It is nearly 450 pages long. It is quite an epic book. And look, it has a fancy cover on it. Um, and I basically have gone through and taken you right from the initial, oh my God, I'm freaking out feeling, the whole way through the application process, how to pick a course, how to pick a university, how to write your personal statement, how to do interviews, open days, whether you're thinking about medicine, whether you're thinking about Oxbridge, um, all the different courses you can think of. I've gone through and listed a load of university vloggers because they are a great, great way for you to see what university is actually like. I've gone and found loads and loads of weird courses that you might not have ever thought of studying. And then I worked really, really hard and I put them all in a book for you. You can buy this on Amazon. Um, and because it is brand new, for 24 hours from now, the Kindle version is going to be free. So just for the first 24 hours from now, the Kindle version is free. Obviously, um, if you are like me and you like to get your highlighters out, you like that lovely, lovely new book, you can also go and buy this absolutely massive thing and get your highlighters out, highlight it, make notes in it. Um, I'll do a separate video just talking about a bit more about this. But I completely understand how you're feeling. You are freaking out, but you can put your summer holiday to good use by just starting to think about university. And the other thing we need to think about is, I want you to think back. I want you to think, and I've or talked to you about this before, I want you to think back to maybe kind of like January of year 11, just when, or maybe like Easter of year 11, just when the horror vision started to ramp up and you're kind of like, why didn't I start revising earlier? Why, why, why did I not start revising earlier? You have the chance to start revising for your year 13 exams, for your actual A-levels now. You have the chance to do this. So please just think back, remember that feeling, remember the I wish I'd done earlier feeling and start revising now. Now, I know you've been working really, really hard for your end of year exams. Some of you might have actually sat 
actual AS exams, but that's not necessarily so common these days. Um, do these past papers. Do as many, many past papers as you can. Go to the exam board's websites and download them. Go to the different exam board's websites and download their AS papers. And just make sure that you really, really, really know everything from year 12 properly. Because every single time we have a set of year 13 A-level exams, um, the examiner's reports comes out and say they've forgotten everything they learned in year 12. So we know this is a really, really good problem with the two year courses. So please spend the summer holiday just trying to, I'm not saying like do five days a week, I'm saying maybe do two hours a week per subject. That could be kind of like, you know, two hours on a Monday, this, two hours on Tuesday, that, two hours on Wednesday, that, or it could be kind of like half an hour each day for each subject. So I'm not asking you to do loads, I'm just saying it'll be a really, really good idea if you did this. And then the last thing I want you to think about um, over your summer holidays is doing a bit of relaxing, doing a bit of reading. Oh look, Kelly Prim. She sits behind me in all my videos doing this. Um, reading is fun, it is really, really good for you. It also gives you something to talk about in your UCAS uh, statement and in your university interviews. I know I know loads of people are asking me about UCAS and university at the moment and I don't want to do that but this is like the prime time for it. So here are a load of books, here is a cat, she's not, well she's actually on my website, she's quite a lot on my website, but over on my website and I'm posting them on Instagram and Goodreads, I'm just going through these books and I'm writing reviews of them for you. Um, so that if you know you like your biology A level but you don't really know what you want to go and study at university you can go and look at my biology reading list over on my website have a look at the books um epigenetics is fascinating it is mind-blowingly interesting but not really something that is covered in too much depth at A level but how do you know if you want to study at university if you don't actually know what it is so I've just done some reviews on there for you. You can go through and just try maybe to pick out a few books that would be interesting, which might help you in the direction of what you want to do in the future. So there you go guys, three things for you to do, four things for you to do because you have to go on holiday relax and it would be really nice if you could make it to the beach. Just, you know, get a group of friends together, hop on a train and go to the beach for a day. Why not? The majority of places in the country you can get to a beach, sandy beaches are nice, but stony beaches also work, um, within like two, three hours. Okay, so just go to the beach. Right, four things for you to do over your summer holiday. Try not to freak out about university applications, but I've done loads and loads and loads of stuff to help you. Um, two, get year 12 content sorted. Three, read some books and play with a cat and four go to a beach and dip your toes in the sea um i have loads and loads of stuff coming out next year i'm going to be doing um a level biology and a level chemistry videos are going to be having for you on this channel and i might even go crazy and try to start a level physics as well um good luck guys enjoy your summer